Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a routine phaco surgery and I did not expect any problem in this case. This is the main incision at mid limbus with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. There is little bit of oozing of blood from the lips of the wound. This is phenocaine. Now, the antechamber is filled up with 2 percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Methyl cellulose is applied over the cornea for better visibility. And now, a side port is made about 3 clock hours away from the main wound on the left side and only one side port was made in this case. Capsulorexis is being done by this uterita of forceps. A capsular tag is raised and the capsular tag is guided anticlockwise all around to get an adequate size trexis. Hydrodissection. Hydrodissection is done with BSS and 27 gauze cannula. The nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is rotated. Again, the antechamber is filled up with visco 2 percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now I take the phaco handpiece, go bevel down, aspirate some lens matter. If we aspirate some cortex and a part of the epinucleus, visibility becomes better. Now, I go into the substance of the nucleus and do mechanical chop. Support the nucleus with the phaco handpiece and the chopper does the main job in mechanical chop. The phaco handpiece remains in irrigation and supports the lens mass. So, the nucleus is managed and now the epinucleus. The epinucleus flips and comes off. And now, cortical aspiration is being done. I removed a part of the cortex by the phaco handpiece itself. And now, visco and now I am going to use the coaxial IA. At this time, the vacuum is 300 and flow rate is 30 and most of the cortex was removed by the coaxial IA the sub incisional cortex was not removed. I plan to remove it by the Simco cannula and before I remove the that I see what I have done. I have made a rent by the Simco. I tried to polish some cells there and I did this watch in slow motion. Aspirating the visco, I see some cells there, try to remove the cells by the Simco and rent. This is a small rent and I have to manage it from now. Release the tag come out and now my plan is to convert this rent into a posterior rexus. 
So, I inject SPMC, 2 percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. I can see the tag very clearly. I take the utrita forceps. hold this tag and convert this rent into a posterior rexus. So, this is a small rent and I will be able to place the lens in the bag. This is viscoat from Alcon. this nicely covers, nicely clogs the rent. Now, I do dry aspiration of the cortex at 10 o'clock. Irrigation is not being used at this moment, because I do not want to hydrate the vitreous. So, it is nicely removed. And now, I use viscoat all around, fill up the bag, make a space between the anticapsular rim and the posterior capsule all around and my plan is to place the lens in the capsular bag. The intraocular lens selected in this case is Hoya ON50 from Japan. I want to enlarge the main wound so that the curtis goes easily into the capsular bag. It usually goes, but I want it to go easily. And here it is. The leading haptic goes into the capsular bag. Now, I use a Simco through the side port and place the trailing haptic in the capsular bag. And the lens is nicely placed in the capsular bag. Now, my plan is to remove the visco nicely, but I do not want to go behind the lens to because if I go behind the lens, the vitreous may get hydrated and it may prolapse into the anterior chamber. I am using the irrigating probe of bimanual IA, irrigating out most of the visco that was there in the anterior chamber. So, most of the visco has come out, but some visco is there behind the lens. I am aspirating the Simco goes in again, aspirating the viscoelastic substance that is there in the anterior chamber and anterior chamber angle. I went behind the lens and aspirated away from the rent. 
the visco that is in the rent covering the rent is not being removed. It will get drained through the trabecular meshwork gradually. Use the irrigation aspiration for some time. and most of the visco has come out. There is no vitreous prolapse in this case. So, I do not want to use the vitrectomy cutter to remove the visco from the rent. And now, I am using a bit of I wanted to use Kenacord, but finally I decided not to use it because I am very sure that there is no vitreous in the anterior chamber and no vitreous has prolapsed into the capsular bag. This is moxifloxacin. The side port is to be closed now. Finally, I decided to use this and check if there is any vitreous. No, there is no vitreous strands. So, finally, I confirmed using Kenacord that there is no vitreous strands in the anterior chamber. The anterior, the side port is injected visco through the side port and concluded the case. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in managing such cases in your practice.